American intelligence officials are hungry. Hungry for information. So they spy on the entire world. But how exactly do the data thieves do it? One of the most productive information gold mines can be found directly in front of the NSA's nose. Internet giants like Facebook, Google, and Twitter have billions of users around the world. Their connection data, messages, uploaded photos, and videos land on American servers. The NSA accesses them there. This spy program is known under the codename PRISM. Company networks are also secretly accessed. Sometimes, the intelligence service parks itself directly in their offices and copies data. That is what happened to AT&T. The data spies also tap into fiber optic cables, those that lead into and out of the US, for example. It is worth the effort. A majority of global internet communication takes place via servers in the US. But the US is also thought to secretly collect data on the high seas, likely by way of the heavily armed submarine USS Jimmy Carter. The NSA is active abroad as well. The over 1,000 agents of the Tailored Access Operations Unit are tasked with finding weaknesses in target computer systems and penetrating them to steal data. Germany, too, is an intelligence target. Frankfurt is an important point of intersection for the Internet. It is here that fiber optic cables from Eastern Europe and Central Asia meet up with those from Western Europe. Not far away, the NSA is building a brand new $124 million spy center. Sometimes, though, hacking from afar isn't enough. Then, the NSA's ground troops are called in, the local spies. The NSA calls them the Special Collection Service. The agents often operate out of U.S. embassies, installing high-powered antenna behind site barriers and bugging buildings. That is how they spy on satellite communication, wireless internet networks, and mobile devices, such as the cell phone belonging to German Chancellor Angela Merkel. But that still isn't enough for the NSA. The U.S. is a member of a super spy alliance called Five Eyes. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Great Britain are the other members. The British agency, GCHQ, is particularly focused on tapping fiber optic cables. Under the code name Tempora, the agency saves around 600 million telephone connections each day, as well as a large share of transatlantic internet traffic. The NSA has access to all of this data. The agency uses spy software and numerous data banks to analyze all of this information. The best known program is called X Keyscore. As early as 2008, the program was already able to access over 700 servers across the world. It has one particular strength. Even if no concrete clue is available, such as an email address or a telephone number, the agents can scan the data stream for peculiarities. For example, who in Pakistan communicates in the German language? Who sends encrypted documents in Iran? Or who searches the internet using terms such as jihad or bomb building? The software's capabilities are vast. And they are available to all American intelligence agencies. Together, the agencies employ more than 100,000 people. And investments continue. Currently, the NSA is building a new computing center in Bluffdale, Utah. It will cost up to $40 million per year just for the electricity to cool the facility's servers. <laughs>